All right, guys, we are being attacked by nine units, or nine cores, so we'll give it a shot here and see how things go. February 1916. There's been a lot of black, bad weather on the front line, and it's gonna end up being March before we end in this war. So, let's take a look here, see what we've got to work with. We don't want to delete any trenches. They're just basic trenches. Verstärkung bereit! Wir sind eingetroffen und warten auf Befehle! Wir kommen wohl zu spät zur Party! Melde mich zum Dienst! Verstärkung macht Meldung! Verstärkung bereit! Wir sind eingetroffen und warten auf Befehle! Wir kommen wohl zu spät zur Party! Melde mich zum Dienst! Verstärkung macht Meldung! Verstärkung bereit! Wir sind eingetroffen und warten auf Befehle. Wir kommen wohl zu spät zur Party. Melde mich zum Dienst. Alright, let's get busy. So we'll start off with times two speed until we make contact. We didn't have a whole lot of supply in the region, so I didn't want to utilize MGNS because I'm not sure where they're going to attack. And for the price of one MGNS, I could potentially get six to 
three infantry units to move or be more flexible. So I really need the flexibility with the amount of supply I've got. If we knew exactly where they would be coming, I would definitely invest in an MG nest, but the only problem with a stationary target like that is they can pinpoint it and take out, you know, 30 supply worth of material relatively easily with maybe 12 supply worth of artillery. So it ends up being an ineffective means of defense. And that looks like they have a bomber coming in. That is a bomber. So we know if they're coming in from here, that's where our infantry will be getting attacked from. Wir kommen wohl zu spät zur Party. Warten 
Double speed here. Keep going. Inflict as much damage as we can so that we get some better chances of success on in March when there's hopefully not a blizzard going on. 
And they may actually choose not to attack, which is fine. But we're gonna try and make the most of it, so... I don't believe they would choose to attack at this point, because they've lost quite a bit. And we could try to counterattack, but... You know, not real sure how wise that would be. We have no no but let's give it a shot. So if we could capture, I was gonna say if we could capture one of those control points, we would end up pushing ourselves over. But it is what it is. It would have been the only thing, it's like MG nest. But we could have been. Now we know. <laughs> now we're not gonna waste any resources. Uh, that may have changed our victory condition just slightly, but it could have potentially given us a huge boost as well, so. Well, that's that. February 1916, defending. Looks like we did a fairly decent job, but let's find out what the actual statistics were. Major victory. Oh, I think I think we just won. Let's see. No, they got a plus two morale. So that would mean they were at negative 18. So they, they would have one morale. <laughs> so we inflicted um, almost 18,000 cal casualties to our three. So it's a one in six ratio on the defense. And they had to spend nearly six times as much in replenishment. So they shouldn't be attacking for a little while. But that's it, guys. Let's let's go to the world map. And let's just see if maybe somehow we end up winning the war here. Or if it's actually going to end up being just one national will. Because if that's the case, the very next battle, if we just, even if it's a minor victory, we're going to push them over the edge. Yeah, so it was 18 instead. So it's actually two, two will. Well, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one, but the next one will probably be the last one. So looking forward to it. Thanks for watching.